What's your name? Uh, Samantha Eggers. What do you have? I have a ticket on place on. Let's see. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, I'll be guilty of being you help. Um, I'll be helping I can send a payment for anything. Okay. Um, my only issue is, is right now, um, they exempted me from working. I'm, I'm high risk pregnancy, so I'm living off of uh, ADC until two months after the baby's born. The baby's due February 15th. I didn't know if you would work with me for $20 a month until I at least can start working again, which should be two months after the baby's born. Children. Yeah, two. Two other kids, yeah. All right. How old are you? Um, I'll be 27. I'll be 27. Are you married or single? Single. So you're, so you have no other income coming in. Are you getting child support? No, can't find him to get it. So. That process is still going through. Paperwork is just already been processed. So, okay. what about the father of this one? It's the same guy. Yeah. What is your mailing address? Uh, 22 South 6th Street, Apartment C. That's close. Yeah. years old and I was in a car with people. There were pills in the car. I got charged with a pill charge. They took my license and ever since I just haven't been able to come up with money to get it now. I really like you make a lot of bad life choices. She's working on it. What is it you want to do here now? Well, I didn't, I'm not really sure like, what I'm supposed to do. Like, can I set up a payment plan well, with that's, you? Yeah, tell me again what the payment plan that you're proposing is. Um, anywhere from 20 to $25 a month, so I can at least get it started. You have 20 bucks today. I do. First of all, I want to state my case. Well, you're not going to do that today because this is a guilty or not guilty plea. If you want to plead not guilty, you know, then I'll set up for hearing and I'll have the officer come in and you can you know, state his case and you can state your case and I'll just make a decision about whether I think you're guilty or not guilty. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so let's just do that. That's, well, let's, wait a minute, because I'm not going to be here for another 10 days, I'm going to be gone. I have, my primary business, 
primary residence in Deming, New Mexico. I also have a house in Lakeview, Iowa, but I'm getting ready to go to New Mexico for dinner here. So I'll just pay the ticket if that's the case, even though there's, let me tell you, the guy that wrote this ticket wasn't even there when this alleged occurrence happened. Well, I mean, if there was another witness that made the complaint, then they would probably bring that witness. In. I don't have any idea. How, where I go to the house? Down the Down the truck house. Thank you. Russ Cammer, C A M E R E R. charged with uh, disorderly conduct. That charge is a simple misdemeanor. It carries a uh, penalty of fine not less than 65 or greater than uh, 625 plus 35% surcharge and court costs. Additionally, you can get up to 30 days in jail. For today's purposes, you can either plead guilty to the charge or you can plead not guilty. Not guilty. I saw some pictures. Take that downstairs and that's your copy. I filed I filed the original of that electronically. Oh, okay. Is that it then? Yep. Send the next person in. Okay. I don't like that. So, 
it's not really self-defense. You know. I know, but she, you know, it's, she it did. happened, and that's. Right. I'm probably gonna give you 48 hours in jail. I'll do it this weekend. Might as well. Okay. Actually, the weekend after that, Tyler has a concert deal. Is that okay? And, uh, he's got the play. Play, yeah. So you want to go to this, jail when? The weekend after that. It'd be two weeks. This begins the eighth, I believe, for Saturday. Bainbridge, you're charged with allowing your dog to run at large in violation of the city ordinance. Uh, they allege that uh, they had three calls on the, your Rottweiler run loose on the 14th, 15th, and 18th. You have two choices for today's purposes. You can plead not guilty. If you plead not guilty, we'll set it down for hearing at a later time. Alternatively, you can either plead guilty. If you plead guilty, I'm going to send you to pay a $100 fine, $35 surcharge, and $60 court cost. So it's going to cost you $195. And if you need a little time to pay, I'll give you up to 30 days to get it paid. I will need that. Pardon? Um, I will need that. Um, I'm guilty on that part. Um, I have another one that I got sent. Something about a vicious dog. I don't think I've got that one here today. So. If you've got a Rottweiler, it's probably not a real good idea to have that dog in town. But uh, I've never raised, sir, I've never raised anything mean. I've well, raised that one, when is that set for hearing? Next Monday. Okay. I'll get up to decide what you want to do on that one. If you want to plead not guilty to that one, you can tell me now, and I'll just show a not guilty plea next week, and you won't have to come up. That would be 
Okay. Yes, I am not guilty on that one. I've never raised a vicious dog. And I've raised other Rottweilers. On the, the one that gets out, yeah, he always seemed to figure out how to claim a fence and figure out how to dig. And he kept doing that when I was, we were all gone at work. So what's the benefit of having a dog like that in town? Well, they make great pets. They love kids. I mean, not to eat or anything like that. I mean, they love all the neighborhood kids, they love him. You. I'm gonna give you until the fifth of December to get it paid, and I'm gonna set a show cause hearing. For December eighth. So it's 195 dollars. gotten along with other dogs before, so I know he never nipped at the family's dog. And you know, I don't really want to hear huh? one side of it today because, you know, it's set for trial. I'll hear those sounds. But I'll tell you, my experience is once you get kind of targeted on these things, that's why I every time the dog gets out, you know, it's going to cost you hundred and another hundred and ninety-five dollars at a point in time. You're going to get tired of paying that, and probably get rid of the dog. But maybe not. So on this second charge, I need to tell you that the maximum penalty is six hundred twenty-five dollars, minimum sixty-five dollars, plus thirty-five percent surcharge. Can get up to 30 days in jail. Probably not going to put you in jail unless the dog ends up hurting somebody. At that point in time, I might. Since you obviously had some warnings here. People that have concerns about your dog. All right. There's your copies of both. So you don't have to worry about next week. You'll be getting a notice to appear for trial on that charge. Right? I'll do it for today. Mm -hmm. Morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Will Paul and I'm going to translate for him. Okay, so he... Ta-ta. This is the second offense of every lie, is that the deal? Yeah. So I'll just kind of tell you the whole story here right now. So this second offense of every lie is an aggravated misdemeanor. I do not have char... Uh, jurisdiction of that charge after today. So what I'm going to do is take him through, you know, what the maximum penalties are, uh, that type of thing, and, uh, you know, just advise him of what his rights are. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present it to you in written form, and then you can, you know, translated off the written document for him, if that's all right. Does that make sense?
You can come up too. I'm reading the report here right now. I'm also going to give you here's a this is an OWI summary form that I'm going to let you take with okay, you to go to him. The second page here is what yeah, deals with second offense OWI. And he needs to be aware of what's going to happen if he gets another one after this one because at that point in time he'd be facing five mm -hmm. years in the prison. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you can read all this stuff, correct? Yeah. You can read English without, yeah. without any problem. Did I have to tell him that or? Yeah, you should take him through that. Now? So. Yeah. Oh. It would be best to do it now, yeah. So the important thing is, if the highlights are, number one, he's presumed innocent until they prove his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. He does have the right to have an attorney present. He cannot afford to hire an attorney. You can fill out an application form. You can get it out of the clerk's office, and we appoint an attorney for him if he qualifies. Uh, this charge is an aggravated misdemeanor. Uh, if he's found guilty, there's a minimum seven-day jail sentence. He can get up to two years in prison. Uh, there's a fine of not less than one thousand eight hundred seventy-five dollars, or greater than six thousand two hundred fifty. 35% surcharge and court costs. Uh, I've set a preliminary hearing in this case. We ordinarily do not have preliminary hearings. I'm assuming I've got his correct mailing address. Does it show on there? Up on the top. Let me see. I found it already. So. Uh, no. No. I just ordered his bond continued, so. Okay. Alright? So, you can go through all of that stuff with him. You might, why don't you take him out in the hall and go through it with him? Okay. If you have any questions, come back in, okay? And send the next person in in the meantime. Okay. We have. Will you come in?